Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. In this video, we are going to discuss some basic questions and answers which are very important for fresher civil engineers who are preparing for interviews. In this video, the answers will be to the point. So guys, you are requested to please watch complete video. And if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. In this video, we are going to discuss about 40 definitions as mentioned over here. I have already made a number of videos about interview questions and technical terms used in civil engineering, which are very important for civil engineers to learn. Okay, the link of those videos are given in the description must watch those videos. So let's start our today's topic. Question number one is asked during interview. What is difference between culvert and bridge? A culvert is a structure that is used to allow water to flow underneath a road or railway. Okay, culvert is a structure that allow water to flow underneath a road or railway as you can see over here in this picture whereas a bridge is a structure that is used to allow vehicles or pedestrians to cross over a body of water or other obstacles as you can see over here in this picture question number two is usually asked during interview that what is the difference between a footing and a foundation so you will answer that a footing is a structure that is used to distribute the weight of a building over a large area okay and foundation is the structure that is used to support the weight of the building and transfer it to the ground here are the pictures of footing and foundation the question number three which is asked during interview that what is the difference between a retaining wall and a sea wall this is the picture of retaining wall and a sea wall a picture clearly depicts the difference between these two walls but what is the definition of retaining wall a retaining wall is a structure that is used to hold back soil and prevent erosion on hill or slope whereas sea wall is a structure that is used to protect a shoreline from erosion caused by waves and tides Question number four, which is very important from interview point of view, that what is the difference between road and a highway? So this is the road and this is the picture of highway. But how to define road and highway? Here is the statement that a road is a general term used to describe any paved or unpaved route that is used for transportation. Whereas a highway is a type of road here you can see highway is also a type of road that is designed for high speed long distance travel and is typically divided into multiple lanes okay as you can see over here in this picture this is the perfect example of highway question number five what is the difference between an arch and a dome arch can be defined as it is a curved structure that is used to span an opening and support a load Whereas dome is a rounded structure that is used to cover a large area and provide structural support. As you can see over here in these two pictures. This is the picture of an arch and this is the picture of a dome. Question number six which is very important for fresher engineers to learn and it is usually asked during interview that what is the difference between asphalt and concrete pavement. So here is the main difference between these two types of payments. This is asphaltic payment and this is concrete payment. Asphalt payment is made from a mixture of asphalt, aggregate and sand. Asphalt payment is typically used for roads and driveways. Whereas concrete payment is made from a mixture of cement, sand and aggregate. Concrete payment is used for large infrastructure projects such as airports and industrial parks. So the main difference between these two types of payments is that in asphaltic payment we use asphalt as a binding agent whereas in concrete payment we use cement as a binding agent. Question number seven what is the difference between dam and levy? Here is the main difference as you can see over here this is the wall of the dam and behind the wall of the dam there is a reservoir okay so 
let's go towards the definition that a dam is a barrier that is used to hold back water and create a reservoir whereas levee is a raised embankment as you can see over here this is the raised embankment and that is used to protect a shoreline or a low lying area from flooding i hope this is very clear to you and pictures are very clearly uh, depicting the difference between these two terms okay question number 8 what is the difference between a girder and a truss as you can see over here in these pictures and you will also familiar with these structures that this is the girder and this is the truss but how to define these two terms this is very difficult to define uh, and to answer to the point to the person who is asking these questions in interview so you guys are requested to learn these uh, words and learn this by word to word so this will be easy for you guys to answer the question a girder is a horizontal structural element that is used to support a load over a span horizontal structural element okay whereas a truss is a series of interconnected triangles that are used to support load over a span the purpose of both that girder and truss is same but the structure of both are different okay question number 9 What is the difference between slope and grade? A slope is the angle or inclination of a surface, whereas a grade is a measurement of the slope expressed as percentage of the percentage or ratio. I have made a number of videos about calculation of slope and how to convert percentage into ratio and convert ratio into percentage. I will give the link in the description and also you can watch the video by clicking the i button. Okay, this is very important topic for civil engineers. so as you can see over here this is the angle of inclination which is actually slope and grade is the ratio of uh, vertical distance to the horizontal distance the next question is what is the difference between lintel and sill a lintel is a horizontal structural element that is used to support weight of a wall or other load above an opening okay whereas sill is a horizontal structural element that is used to support the weight of a window or door frame as you can see over here this is the lintel it is also called as lintel beam which supports the weight of the wall whereas sill is the bottom level of the window which is used to support the weight of the window or a door frame okay question number 11 it is uh, very important and very confusing that what is the difference between storm sewer and sanitary sewer a storm sewer is a system of pipes and structures that is used to collect and transport rain water okay storm sewer is for rain water and other surface runoff away from the buildings and other structures whereas sanitary sewer is a system of pipes and structures that is used to collect waste water collect and transport waste water from toilets sinks and other sources to the treatment plant look at this picture okay this is the housed waste water which is uh, going into the sanitary sewer and whereas the storm sewer collects the uh, runoff which is uh, which results as the uh, rainfall okay and then they, it collects into the catch basin and then goes into the storm drains Okay this is the main difference between storm sewer and sanitary sewer. Question number 12 what is the difference between a beam and joist? Okay what is the difference? A beam is a horizontal structural element that is used to support load over a span and a joist is also a horizontal structural element that is used to support a load over a shorter distance. this is the main difference that beam is for larger distances and joist is for shorter distances as you can see over here in this picture this is the joist and this is the beam okay question number 13 what is the difference between a load bearing wall and a non load bearing wall okay a load bearing wall is a wall that is designed to support the weight of the building above it okay the wall which bears the load simply and a non load bearing wall as you can see over here in this picture the slab is directly placed on the walls and the from above the load is directly transferred to the slab and then to the walls okay 
whereas a non load bearing wall is the wall that is not designed to support any weight and is used primarily for partitioning or aesthetic purposes okay as you can see over here in this picture beams and columns are provided this is actually a frame structure in frame structure the walls are provided only for partitioning purposes or for aesthetical purposes in a uh, structure frame structure walls are only for uh, walls are non load bearing okay this is the simple example of these two definitions that load bearing and what is non load bearing walls okay uh, question number 14 what is the difference between a rock and a boulder a rock is a natural material that is composed of minerals or other substances whereas the boulder is a large rock that is typically larger than 1 cubic feet and can be moved or transported only with heavy equipment okay boulders are basically used for construction purposes and rock is a natural material which can be broken down into to make boulders okay question number 15 what is the difference between a septic system and a sewer system septic system is a system that is used to treat and dispose of waste water from a single building or a household whereas sewer system is a system of pipes and structures that is used to collect and transport waste water from multiple sources to a treatment plant and as you can see over here in this picture sewer system transport the water to the treatment plant whereas septic system just collects the water the waste water from the houses okay question number 16 what is the difference between a skyscraper and a high rise building okay this is very typical and important question that a skyscraper is a tall building that is typically more than 40 or 50 stories okay a building uh, height the height of a building which is more than 40 to 50 stories is called as a skyscraper as you can see over here burj khalifa is the best example of a skyscraper and a uh, high rise building is a tall building that is typically more than 10 stories okay any large building you can say more than 10 stories you can say it you can call it a high rise building okay question number 17 what is the difference between an elevation and a plane view an elevation is a drawing or diagram that shows the vertical dimensions of a structure or a building okay whereas as you can see over here in this uh, picture we can get the heights okay what is the height of this story and the height of this story and the distance between plinth level and the sill level it's mean that you can get the idea about heights okay whereas in plain view is a drawing plain view is a drawing or diagram that shows the horizontal dimensions of a structure as you can see over here in this picture that the dimensions of the rooms okay and the dimensions of the doors and windows the widths of the doors and the windows uh, in plain view okay so you get the idea of horizontal dimensions in plain view question number 18 what is the difference between an open channel and a closed conduit an open channel or conduit is that open to the atmosphere the channel which is open to the atmosphere and typically carries water or other fluids whereas a closed conduit is a channel or pipe that is enclosed and typically carries water or other fluids under pressure here is the example of these two this is the open channel and this is the example of closed channel or you can say conduit the closed channel is also called as conduit question number 19 what is the difference between a retaining wall and a revetment a retaining wall is a structure that is used to hold back soil and prevent erosion on a hill or slope as you can see over here this is the example which is used uh, retaining wall is used to prevent erosion or to stabilize the cutting side of the hill or support the uh, side of the road okay whereas revetment is a sloped or step structure that is used to protect a shoreline or embankment from erosion caused by waves and tides this is the example of revetment question number 20 what is the difference between an arch dam and a gravity dam an arch dam is a curved dam that is designed to resist the force of water 
by arching upstream this is the example of arch dam and it is in the shape of arch and and arching towards the upstream this is the upstream side of the dam okay whereas gravity dam is a massive concrete or masonry dam that is designed to resist the force of water by its weight and the force of gravity this is the huge concrete huge mass of a concrete which stabilizes itself or on its own base and it is very heavy and due to its large volume it stabilizes itself and supports and you can say stores water behind it due to its heavy weight okay this is the main difference between arch dam and gravity dam so guys that's all for today uh, for similar videos and for technical videos you guys are requested to please subscribe my channel and if you want to learn about some more topics let me know in the comments i will make a detailed video on that topic and that's all for today